So how to best describe this, right? This is a fairy house, and I'll take you around, show you all the details and everything I put in here, but for those who uh, believe in that magic, you know, this is a fairy uh, home, which is not something new. It's very common. You'll see a lot of people on YouTube make them, but this one has a certain intent, and that's what I wanted to talk about. Putting your intent into every little detail that you can, even in the waking days of your life, from brushing your teeth to shit, taking a taking a shit, you know what I'm saying? There's a re there's an intent behind it. Like I'm flushing out all that uh, past traumas or some shit like that. But with this, I got accessories like a removable removable uh, ladders. You can put it here. You could put it on the top here, like some little hideaway. <clears throat> I put the crystals down here so I could charge them up and this swivels in and out these are real stones and this is what I would use if I had you know these are real stones so every once in a while just to shake things up you move them around some of the shells are glued but some of them are not this is sandalwood resin and I got it right over there so it can charge up this is my keychain it's got my jade rabbit my unk and other things on there and it's hanging off the moon you know what I'm saying the moon roof or whatever you want to call it and it's the sun um, there's a lot of ways to interpret it and that's why I made it because I wanted people to be able to have something to uh, a focal point and have intent see there's a, a pile of sticks right there it looks like logs you know what I'm saying so I put the logs over here and I got pottery with removable tops like like such and even this piece right here swivels in and out I wanted to give it a little autonomy to give it a little more flavor, right? So you can stuff it up in there, it's not blocking anything, but when you're doing a ritual or something, you can slide it out and either put something made on it like this or like this piece over here, I put the crystal on top of it to charge it. You feel what I'm saying? So now I'm gonna take it around. Uh, another removable ladder, I still gotta paint it. No big deal. And uh, even totems. You know what I'm saying? I got an ancestor here. So you can have an ancestor totem and find a place to put them. Change the mood a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So we'll look at this side. This side has a swing for the fairies. You know, they got to have fun. They got to have fun. Yeah, this is cool. So that's crooked. A few more things. You know, just a little more, a couple more stones for the pathway over here. And here's the... Uh, I don't know, whatever gate you would call this, the uh, sea gate, south gate, and this one has a swiveling door. This is the only one I'm going to do because I like that look. You can keep it open. You can see the moss. It's like grass in there. And the back part, too, has another area for a ladder. You know what I'm saying? And underneath is pretty much more of the uh, greenery, the shells and whatnot, some of this moss up here and around there. But... That is a fairy house, and I figured the best way to promote it would be to explain it and how I used it. And uh, if you'd like one made, you can come hit me up, but you know, start to think about what you would want included in your house on your fairy house that works with your magical needs and, and the way you do your, your rituals or whatnot. Only thing I didn't put on this was a place for candles, you know what I'm saying? That's a little bit too much for this kind of material. But uh, take it back around here. So this side is finished. And then even over here, this piece is removable, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to put a little uh, pentagram up there. It sticks there so it looks like uh, decals on the wall, you know what I'm saying? And this flower, I found this uh, outside the art store. They had left it out there, one of the little things. So I stuck it on a, on a stick. And these are all broken up sticks that are painted. Everything came out of nature for the most part, some recycled material, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the basic principles of nature, nothing goes to waste. So, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping in if you listen. And if you like one, just hit me up. Peace.